I can't, <laughs> I, yeah, I can't wait. I mean, how good was Darren Carter? How positive he was? And you, you saw that, and I was keen to get up here and show off the goals that Birmingham scored against Arsenal. And I think it's, it's about noticing... That on Monday Night Football, I said about throw-ins, and this can be an attacking weapon, and I think that's what he did. He's mentioned previously to me about isolated areas, and this is where they, they got their goal from. Again, numbers in and around... You know, they're winning first balls, second balls, key players here winning it around here. And this is where they get their joy. And they're playing it off and then there's runs and threats in behind. And there's some key detail in this and it's a great touch across. And the finish is brilliant. Like Sue said, it's really difficult when you've got all the time in the world. But this is more the tactical view now. So I want to highlight here, they're very narrow. There's your, there's your threat in the isolating area. And then there's the people around the ball to win it. But I think what they've realised here is how wide the centre-backs of Arsenal get, and I think it's a weakness. So when they give the ball away, they're in a really vulnerable situation, and you see the run then, it's a brilliant run in behind from Smith, and what she does to get onside is brilliant. Quinn anticipates, they're front-footed, they're aggressive, there's numbers around it, and then you see again, the run in behind is brilliant, the timing of the run, how she peels off the back shoulder. we we'll use this one, that's a better one. She peels off the back shoulder and then runs in. Get my little... Arrow right, we'll do it there. Live TV, it goes wrong. Um, <laughs> but the running behind and then the pass through, split in half. And this is an issue for Arsenal where, like I said, the two centre-backs are completely out of the game and then it's a credit to the finish. But that's all detail. They've recognised that. They've swarmed a throw in. It's a brilliant finish, but swarmed a throw in, recognised that the two centre-backs split open and they've really capitalised on it. Now, the second goal again, and he mentioned Sari about in the deeper area. Now, they've gone a bit long on here. But this is what I really like. I mean, that's a great touch, by the way. Yeah. Brings it down. They've got a threat. Now, this is a team that haven't scored many goals. And as it runs on, you'll see how many bodies they get forward. But he mentioned about Surrey being a little bit deeper. She's in the eight position. And it's not necessarily her strength. He's highlighted that. But again, look how many numbers they've got forward. So this is a team bottom of the table, allegedly, against a top team. And then she picks it up. And then it's about being positive. She could play out here. But no, what I love about it is she goes, no, I'm actually not an eight now. I'm a 10. I'm going to be positive, take people on. My manager's giving me all the confidence, sets it off. And I'll show it in the next clip, the next run. But she doesn't just admire a pass, gets in there and gets a reward. Now, there's detail again behind it that you'll see in this run. Again, this is her, the second phase. She's here, deep player. You've got a threat here, threat here, wide threat. And there's your 10 as well, getting in. Great little touch. But there she is, sorry. Now getting on the about to get on the ball. And like I said, there's still a lot for her to do. I mean, look how many bodies are congested in this area, but she's got the confidence to go, no, not a problem. Takes them on, being positive again. Defending's poor from Arsenal. But then this is, this is the key detail. She runs off the back shoulder of Kim Little and doesn't react more them. And she gets in there and that's what she does. That's where the space opens up. There she is, not picked up. Arsenal not tracking the runners, gets involved. And then it's a brilliant run across because this opens up again the space. You always need a centre forward to run across the goal. Gets that little bit of luck. And then look, it's a brilliant finish. Yeah. And you saw from the reaction from her, crying, he knows what it means. And that's all Darren Carr, that's confidence. Look how many numbers are in there for Birmingham. That's what he's done. And I'd love to go and put my boots on for him because that's what you need. When you're down there, you need a manager that believes in you. He's come and he's done that. Yeah, you can see it. And all playing with their shoulders back as well. As you were saying, Ryan, beforehand, such a difficult thing to instill so quickly in a side that are struggling. Yeah, 100%. I, I think, you know, he's made the point. He's got to get to know the players. And, you know, it, essentially, you've got to know what's going to make them tick and how you utilise each of those players' strengths to your advantage. And he's put some simple principles in place that they've been able to stick to and then execute today. So it's a fantastic job. Well done. I don't know about you, but we often get a bit miffed when we see sides talking about, oh, well, Arsenal, you know, they were bad. And we don't celebrate Birmingham and what they've done and, and the job that they've done on Arsenal. And we saw it, Sue, didn't we, against Leicester when they played Arsenal as well. Early on, they had chances. This time, Birmingham punished them. You're right. And I think that's... That I was actually doing that game and, and I was saying if Leicester had just took those opportunities, if they'd just been clinical, could it have been a different game? And that's exactly what Birmingham were. They got themselves into good positions, but then they finished off. And, and it was that about can you commit more bodies forward? Can you be positive with the run? Instead of just the safe pass, because I think that's easy when you're down there and you're struggling... You, you try to be safe, but can you be brave? Can you face forward and go forward and commit players forward? And that's what they did ever so well. But then when they got themselves into that, that opportunity in front of goal, they finished off and it was a different game.